<laughs> so the side sounds like I'm doing one of those. Um, yeah, um, Batman is dead, and I felt I need to make a video. I, I just learned. Um, I don't know. It's coming up my heart, right? It's um, Kevin Conroy just died uh, a few hours ago. I, I, I just. Uh, I, I, I saw it now, uh, age six, so I was pretty pretty young, right to speak, right. And um, what can I say, right? He he, you know, he is Batman. Like he is, this is the Batman, right? Um, you have other people who have played Batman over the years, but Kevin Conroy, right? He's always gonna be Batman, and uh, Mark Hamill, of course, being the Joker, right? So if you didn't know who he is, right, he's of course the voice of Batman in uh, basically, you know, Batman Task, right, which is the, like, the greatest, arguably the greatest comic show ever, right, you know. We also have, of course, uh, Superman or whatever, right, but, like, Batman Task is just fantastic and it's, um, but, yeah, oh, this is bad, this is hard, man. Um, so, um, yeah, Batman... <laughs> Kevin Conroy is always the most, you know, I, I, again, the iconic Batman, right? And again, I think Batman, uh, dead made a show, right? It's like the, uh, yeah, like, you know, the, the, the Batman animated show is kind of like the, the greatest, uh, you know, comic show ever, right? Like, uh, so, so my, my two favorite shows, right, is, uh, my grab kid, right? It's Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man Taz, uh, and, uh, you know, Batman Taz, right? So I'm born in the 90s, right? I can't even, in, in, sorry, I'm born in the 80s, I mean, <laughs> I can't even speak. I'm born in the 80s, but I mean, I, I grew up, right, and I was kind of in those years, uh, of course, in the 90s, then, right? So we have these these two shows, and um, it's all, I mean, yeah, Kevin Conroy, right? He's just the Batman. But but it's different, too, because, like I said, so, so, so Batman Taz, right? It, it was the greatest show ever, right? Uh, we can talk about it for I can say it for hours talking about it. I, I remember every episode, and I I have I have you know I have uh, I have you know I have rewatched it, right? I don't know how many times. Like seriously, I I, I probably have like re I probably have rewatched um, this show, right? It's like six, seven. <laughs> like I don't even know how many times, man. I can't even tell you how many times I've heard you know Kevin Conroy talk as Batman, right? Like seriously, like I. I barely ever rewatched any of the Batman, any of the Batman movies, right? I've seen the older ones, uh, whatever, right? But but no, no, no. The, the the Batman I made the show, man. This is the show I've been watching over and over again. It is uh, it's a masterpiece, right? It won all the Emmys and so on. It was so unique, as done done on black uh, canvas and the white canvas and all this stuff, right? But um, yeah, his voice for all the years and. And not not to sit on Spider Man. Spider Man is great too, but the thing is that, like, I, I I'm not to say as, as a bad actor or whatever. But I don't, I don't even remember who's doing Spider Man honestly, because I feel that to make Kevin Con, especially to Kevin Con, right? He yeah, he 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 was Batman in the show, but he also kept was Batman. Right? He kept doing you know Batman for all the years. So he he was Batman in Arkham, right? He was Batman in in, in all the games, so on. He was Batman in the spin offs. He so he's really been Batman, and I'm thinking about it in that sense too, right? He really is the Batman, right? Because you know, because they have all the actors, right? They're playing Batman and so on. But Kevin Conroy, he, he is he is Batman, right? He's gonna be all Batman people. He's the guy that's doing Batman for years, right? He's been doing Batman since this show, right? And then he's been doing it in the games, then doing it in all the shows, right? And then he, he had this, um, uh, which I actually watched, right? Because I'm I'm only watching those um, the new show. They call it the Arrowverse, right? I've seen some of the seasons of the Flash or whatever, but like I, I I've seen the Arrowverse. Now, this is this is how he's good. Right? I have seen the Arrowverse purely, right? Purely because I wanted to see uh, Kevin Conroy's Batman, yeah. Because they had one of the alternative universes, Infinity Crisis thing, right? Where uh, Kevin Conroy then got to play Batman with like some kind of mecha cyborg Batman, you know, broken his back with Bane, yeah, that stuff, right? So, <laughs> it's. Do you think about that, right? I haven't even seen the other episodes of. These Arrowverse seasons, right, for the last I don't know five six years, but I want to see the parts where Tom Welling, right, is the S core Superman, right? Yeah, Tom Welling, uh, Small Will, right, he's the uh, Superman, and uh, Kevin Conroy as uh, yeah as Batman. Then like, <laughs> I skipped over every other episode of the whole Arrowverse. I just want my Kevin Conroy. So man, yeah, it's weird. It's I I used actually 
recently rewatched the interview with him uh, on Michael Rosenbaum's uh, Michael Rosenbaum's uh, Lex Luthor and his podcast, right? Uh, inside of you with uh, Michael Rosenbaum. Uh, so that's much I love. That's how much I love Kevin Corder, man. Yeah, like the interview him, you know, over times. <sighs> ah, it feels weird. It feels really weird. And um, I'm not going to make it personal, but I just had um, a relative that died uh, just uh, a month ago, uh, also uh, from cancer. Yeah, like Kevin Conrad then uh, died six. I mean, quite young. Yeah, my relative also just died from cancer, and <sighs> not doing too much here. I thought about it a few a few weeks ago, but not doing too much here, right? But it was it actually was kind of similar because my my relative uh, had ha got cancer and, and then basically died immediately afterwards. Yeah, similar to what I, what what we know now about Kevin Conrad. I mean, I, I just heard he died right and reading about it. And it is, it, it honestly is very similar, like seriously, like freaking morbid, man, because, yeah, my relative, um, very close relative of mine, yeah, got, got cancer, and then uh, uh, basically immediately died, uh, like two weeks late, like one week later, yeah, it was, it was very, very sudden, right? I wasn't there, I was in my home country or whatever, right, and it was just, uh, uh, like, yeah. Like it was just, and it was very weird too because the person got cancer and went to hospital, and then they went, they went back home. Yeah, like they had like some down period, right? Went to the hospital, and then and then they went uh, back home then for like uh, you know after being in hospital for a few days, and then uh, was home for like four days, and was fine basically, right? Or fine, but you know much much better, right? And before I got home and so on, uh, they died, yeah. And they just passed away immediately, right? Uh, basically after that, it's like, you should snap. So it was very weird too, it was like super down, right? Suddenly, suddenly the hospital, and it was like almost uh, that almost dead immediately, right? And then it was like the next day, they were fine. Then like four days later, they were dead. Yeah, it was like really, it was a really whiplash. Um, so, uh, I don't know what point is, but I'm, I, guess, I guess I'm imagining that uh, I imagine that Kevin Conner has something similar, right? We don't, we don't know the, we don't know all the, we don't know all the, we don't know all the facts here, but I'm guessing it's something similar, uh, probably a similar cancer, honestly, right? Because yeah, if someone like uh, uh, you know has cancer and then they just die immediately, there's only a few cancers, right? Like I have another relative that died uh, many years ago from cancer, so I <laughs> kind of unrelated, but as I point out, I can, I can speak. But basically, right, so I had no relative of that kind, so I uh, had leukemia, uh, but this person had leukemia for like three years, right? So, now of course, Kevin Conner might have leukemia, right? but, but, but yeah, whatever. Uh, my point is that, it, because I didn't know this that much, right, until my relative just died last month, uh, that, well, I mean, of course I knew about it to some extent, right, but basically that, you know, some cancers, it's like, bam, you're dead, right? It's a modern cancer, so like, oh, you can have it for like five years, yeah, so it's... Of course, it depends on your health all the time before too, right? But, um, but yeah, that's the point I tried to make. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just emotional, man. But yeah, um, I'm imagining it's a similar cancer. Then certainly, some cancer just makes you, makes you die immediately, right? If you, yeah, if you bad luck, right? So that's a lesson of life too, I suppose. But no, but I mean, that, like, like it's uh, that you have different, ca you know. Man, this is a dark video, right? But. No, but uh, I mean, I mean, basically, it's like one thing I point out here, suppose, and in is that yeah, like you have many different cancers, and and, and getting cancer is uh, uh, depending on where you have the cancer can be very, very different effects, right? How long you can live and so on, uh, and of course the person's health and the person's age, everything also matters, obviously. But so yeah, so it it, it feels extra. Um, Slight home, right? I mean, I, I haven't heard it was sick or anything, yeah. So, he's dead. Um, but yeah, what, what can I say about some good stuff? I mean, you, if you haven't seen it, right, yeah, Batman Task is like the best show ever. It won so many awards. I think one thing that made Batman, I'm, I'm trying to make it positive now, but one thing that made the show, right, again, the show so special, right, the actual uh, uh, Batman Task was just the quality and so on. But I think one thing that they made special was that. 
you know, for us nerds and geeks or whatever, right? And, uh, like today we have this character, right? we have the Harley Queen. You, you, you probably talking about we have Harley Queen, right? We have, we have Mr. Freeze and so on, right? We have all these characters that actually start in the show too, basically, right? That, that's a huge thing with the show as well. Uh, why it's so special too, right? Because you basically felt that you had the other, you had the Superman task, the Spider Man task, etc. You had the Avenger show and so on. You have all these other, uh, yeah, you know, based on, you know, cartoons, uh, comic shows. But Batman Task, not only was it the best one and the highest call, not only good stuff, right? But it also was the one that it was so good that it basically like it changed how they wrote the whole comics. That they were like add all, add in all the good characters <laughs> from the show. They were like we're gonna rewrite you know the comics and just add in all these like super beloved characters like a whole history. We had to we had to add in her into the actual comics and oh Mister Freeze, he, he's he, this is way better written. Re rewrite the backstory of that character. Or Two Face, rewrite this backstory in the comics. Right? So they had to basically just like adapt the whole freaking comics. Uh, that has been of course established for like 60 years before the show, right? And I was like, okay, we gotta scrap that and basically the show is the real canon <laughs> because it's so much better. Yeah, that's that's how good it was, you know, that's how good it was. It it, it rewrote like the whole comic, man. Yeah, the, you don't see that very often these days, right? You don't see that very often with manga and anime. But no, in manga and anime, it never happens, right? Uh, usually they say that the anime is, is, a, is the final version, right? But basically... Uh, animes are kind of like, you know, they, they try to follow the manga more, right, and you, they may add some scenes, right, but they're basically trying to just follow the anime, yeah. Um, but the, the Batman task was like a freaking milestone, man. Uh, but of course, like I said, right, he's done a lot of other stuff too, and it's, he's, Kevin Conner really is Batman, right, he really is Batman, yeah, he really is the guy that was, uh, yeah, like, like I said earlier, he's, he's, he really been voicing Batman, right, for um, yeah, for like 20 plus years, right? From uh, oh, early 90s and uh, most side stuff and yeah, the games and so on. Of course, all the stuff too, right? But um, life is really sad, man. If he's very sudden too, yeah, and then he was only 6 2, which is pretty young, I mean. Um, yeah. My old relative would die also around the 60s, though. <laughs> Almost about myself, no, but it, it, my, my, my relative died by leukemia many years ago, like 20 years ago. Uh, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty, pretty wild back now, then, but also died then uh, from cancer in uh, comparably pretty young, like 60, only 60. So, yeah, I mean, of course it happens. But, um, yeah, it's very tragic and. Um, if he's weird, man, like, uh, if he's really weird. Uh, and I, and I, like I mentioned earlier, I loved how they, you know, kept adding Kevin Conroy. Yeah, they were, are we going to have him in the, in the, yeah, we're going to have him in the spin-off. We're going to have him in this, like, you know, weird, uh, yeah, int uh, stuff like that, right? It really felt like everyone uh, knew he was the, he was the Batman, man. <laughs> yeah. Like everyone knew it. No, I mean from the actual production side, right? You know. Yeah, like even they, even though they were like, no, this is the most popular Batman here on the side, right? Um, I don't know, man. Um, nah, I miss lots of words here. Now it's just weird, man. But I just want to iterate how amazing his voice was, right? And it's just like, like I said, you know, I don't know how many times I have like, seriously rewatched. This show, right? And also, of course, played the games or whatever. His voicing in Arkham is one, but he also played more than once, right? But just like, like seriously, Batman Task is probably the, yeah, like the show I've seen the most. Like seriously, like I can, you know, you can rewatch every episode, and it's so good. You can always hear, yeah, he, him doing Batman. It's always gonna be the, like the definite, the, the, what's it called? What's the word? <laughs> the definite Batman. Whatever the word is. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I've seen him so many times, right? You know, and he. Uh, if it's if it's really strange, man. Uh, because like seriously, bad bad fantastic, man. It, it's the greatest thing ever, and uh, it. I, I think one thing though, especially may, maybe extra much so. Uh, the way I grew up, right, for example, Sweden or so on. That we didn't we didn't have Batman either. Yeah, the Batman is called Lada Lappa in Swedish, which is a really weird name. But I think that one weird thing too, maybe 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 makes it extra special for me as a kid. It's because, like, we had Lad the Lappen, right? Which is the Batman, right? But they basically had stopped selling Lad the Lappen then, or Batman then, right? <laughs> Batman. They had stopped selling Batman. 
Uh, well, I grew up, right, you know, because it's an, old, it's an old comic, right? So it basically was like defunct or whatever, right, in uh, probably most of Europe, seriously, at that time, especially, I think, in like, Scandinavia and so on. So we only had Batman, Taz, and Spider-Man, uh, and uh, actually, and yeah, Superman, Taz. Spider-Man, they actually do on and off the Marvel comics, they, they sold on and off, actually. But, but obviously, when I think about it, when I, when I grew up, we only had this show to uh, as our Batman show. Yeah, we didn't have the comics. Yet. We couldn't buy the comics. Like basically, what we had was the um, we had the old comics. You know, like I had my father's comics. Basically, right? Yeah, like my father had the uh, leather lap and then he had some other old. Actually, as a kid, what I read a lot as a kid was that my father had a lot of these um, Hellblazer, right? And the more like you know adult uh, comics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those Matinga comics. Yeah, seriously, my father. My father had all those, like, you know, brutal, you can see behind me, that's why, that's why I only wife is behind me, god damn it. It's all my father's fault, yeah. No, but seriously, yeah, my father had, like, comics, from he was a kid and so on, right? And some stuff he was an adult, and most of his comics then were these, yeah, the Vertigo, they were, like, the, the DC comics, they were, like, more for 18+, plus, right? That's more things he had, and some old, some old Batman stuff and Superman stuff and so on. So you, you couldn't buy it. So basically, what we had was like, yeah, like you had the the comic books you got from your your you know older brother or your father, or whatever, right? It's kind of what you had, or your uncle or whatever, and then then you had like the tasks on on the weapon, the damage show on TV. Yeah, we, that was like so for us. It really was the in the definite version by ev for everything I grew up because we didn't even have anything else. Thinking about it, that was crazy. I mean, we had of course other shows, but you know, from from the DC comics, yeah. Um, it's kind of fun when I think about it because the way I explain it now, right, these days, is that I was also an important show that it that it like created a new, uh, you know, a new lore for Batman and Holy Queen was added and this and that, you know. That, that's why I explain today yeah, because now, now I'm a nerd, so I read all the Wikipedia, but now we can point now, now I'm a nerd. I read all the comics and I I saw the show several times and I read the different news things and and now as an adult or. Maybe more teenager, but the older I can get go and get the comics and I can read them and this stuff. So now I know that it changed the impact of it, right? But if you ask me, when I grew up, right, I I, I thought it, it was no other version, right? But as a kid, I didn't I didn't even think it created this character. Yeah, that that's a weird to think about it too because you loved his work so much as Batman, right? Growing up as a kid, but you didn't even think how groundbreak I mean, obviously it was, it was so good it was amazing i must say it was bad you really like, great it was of course but i'm saying from an actual like character standpoint of the other characters or batman is that too because he, he obviously defined batman right but also the other characters the, the rogue gallery so batman and versus you know kevin Cole's acting versus the rogues and how they interact with each other that kind of thing right as a kid you took it for granted as a kid because i didn't have the comics you thought it was straight from the comics, yeah. <laughs> Think about it now. That means how even even how more amazing it is, right? Because yeah, like as a kid, I I just thought he was like basically reading the dialogue from the comics. Now I mean, obviously it's more complicated than that. But again, I hope I say what I mean here. I thought basically that the, the, the manuscript, right, that they had for the show and his acting and so on was basically from the comics, right? But no, they didn't have comics. They had comics, but like I said. Half the storylines for new and fresh, right? Yeah, and this, half the characters were basically rewritten for the for the <laughs> and, and how we interacted with the character was, was a new thing and so on, right? Uh, for many of them, of course, not all of them, but for half of them, roughly, right? So it, it makes it even more impressive to think about it. <laughs> That's something I didn't even realize in, in a way. And I, I separately remember, uh, I, 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 comparison, for example, is that uh, in Spider Man, right? Uh, Green Goblin, of course, is actually before Hope Goblin, right? Um, as a character, right? Norman Osborn, you know, he creates uh, Green Goblin, blah, blah, and then Hope Goblin, Hope Goblin uh, comes later, right, in the comics. Because Green Goblin is one of the original, you know, one of the first role for Spider-Man, right? Uh, very, very early. But in the in the Spider-Man show, uh, Green Goblin is a much later character, right? He's introduced season two, whatever. So I remember <laughs> when we were kids, and it was like one guy that had, you know, the old comics. And he was like, no, it's wrong. The, the shows are wrong. He was like, no, you're talking about it. It's a clo Hobgoblin is way early. And I agree with him. Yeah, no one believed him. I remember that as a side note. Not that it was bad, but I remember it. No one believed him. I was like, no, no, the show is like the correct version. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? We all, we all see the show, man. What are you talking about? The, the comics are the same thing. Yeah, like no one believed him. He was like, hey, go and get the comics. Yeah. 
Yeah, I remember that. He had, he had to go home and like he, he probably had his grandpa's comics up. It was like, it was something weird. Yeah, but like, no one, no one took you seriously at the schoolyard. You know what we're talking about? We all seen the episode, man. Green Goblin comes in like episode twenty five or something. You crazy? Yeah, <laughs> it was like that. Like, what are you talking about? This is of course before we had the internet, right? We couldn't just Google and check if something was uh, correct or not. But yeah. Um, but for example, right, so we, we also took all the Batman storylines for granted, right, and uh, like we didn't have any comics to compare it to. <laughs> so he's absolutely my Batman, I didn't even have anything to compare it to, but I, no, but that's the thing, right, I, I grew up with Kevin Conroy being Batman, right, he's my Batman, of course, I think it's, I think for most people he's their Batman series, I'm not saying it's for me, but you know, he, he, he really is everyone's Batman, but if I think about it, I didn't even have any other Batman to compare it to. I didn't even have the comic to compare it to, right? So I grew up only watching this show, and then they had the movies later on, right? And then they had whatever other actors, right? But yeah, so that's kind of weird to think about it too. That I, he was the, he was my first Batman. <laughs> he was my first Batman. Yeah, he was my oh man, yeah. He he was the Batman for me. He was the first and the best Batman. And, uh, and yeah, and and and, and, and the only Batman was never good enough for me. Yeah, I was always like, "Where's my Kevin Conroy?" Seriously, right? Yeah. Um, and I was kept comparing every other, <sighs> every other uh, Batman to him, right? Of course, he was always the pinnacle of being Batman, right? And and and, and I remember I used to joke about my friends, right? When the when the movie started coming, we all, we always we always we always joked like that. You just have what whoever acting then, right? Who cares who's playing as who, who cares who's playing Batman, right? It's just dub it with Kevin Conroy. <laughs> we were always like, you just take Kevin Conroy, who's like, what some man? I don't care who plays Batman. You just dub Kevin Conroy's voice over him. <laughs> you just have him voiced it, man. I don't care who plays the body. I don't care if that's gonna look beef. I don't care about that, right? Make let Kevin do it himself. But if he if he doesn't want to do it. Had his voice acting over them. <laughs> we kept saying it all for all the years, man. Oh, oh, why could not never do that? Someone can probably do it, man. Just edit it, right? Just edit it. Just take one of the Batman movies and you can probably, like, see how can it be, man? He, he's voiced hundreds of episodes in different shows, too, right? Just just take the his Batman voice and just add it over. Someone, someone, please do that, man. Just take Kevin Cole's voice. Add it over all the different, for like a, a whole movie right there, for like a whole one half hour movie. It has to be done man, and it probably can be done seriously, right? You just, you just take different voice lines from different places, right? And you put them in together and, yeah, it's, um, uh, you can do it, man. <sighs> but yeah, uh, whatever, um, you know, rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. Um, that's my Batman, right? Batman, rest in peace. Batman is dead to me. Um, he really is Batman. I'm never gonna accept anyone else as Batman. No one's ever gonna be good as him. Um, feels really weird. Yeah, feels really weird. And just like, uh, I have done very few videos about this channel. Yeah, I don't like Kanto Murai, right? Author of Buster dying, right? Yeah. Uh, don't stand Lee dying, right? You know what I mean? I mean, it's like, you know, like, to get a death video, man. No, I don't wanna be that guy. But yeah. But honestly, I think it's because, like, I said it's the last thing here, right? I really want to say how much I love uh, Kevin Connors work, right? Yeah, I really, I really want to say how much I love his work, right? And how much important it is to me. And for me, growing up, he really is the Batman, right? And I watched it over and over again, he really is my Batman. I really want to say that, right? But I, I don't know, because I, I just never liked doing these videos to talk about, oh, he's a dead celebrity, you know? Oh, please press the, press the like button and smash it and give me the... Give me the you know, I always felt that was so uh, cringe or whatever, right? Yeah, I, I I hate doing these kind of videos, or not in this case, but I hope so what I mean. Like, I must be that guy, right? But, but I, I don't know, but I, I, I just feel very uncomfortable, right? Doing like a celebrity death video, you know? I just feel very uncomfortable doing it. Um, so it really has to be like, okay, this person meant a lot to me, yeah. It really has to be like this, the, the, the pinnacle, the Batman, you know? It has, it has to be a... He has to be a very special person, right, to get a video. <laughs> no, now it's not even, it kind of makes it sound even more crazy now, but he's good enough to get it. No, but it's, um, I, I don't know, but, but, but I hope people understand what I mean, right? I, it's kind of like, that of course was way worse, so I don't want to compare them in that sense, but I remember when we had, you know, the, uh, the Kyoto fire, right, you know, like, again, uh, I, I'm not a guy that's like, oh, I'm gonna make a video about someone, uh, you know, uh, committing this crime, right, because whatever, right, but in that case, I was like, oh my god, there's like 40 people dead, right, it was like 44 people died, they were the Kyoto animation, right, 
Ja, hor- horrible, ja, yeah, horrible, horrible uh, uh, story that I think that happened in Japan a few years ago, uh, which was of course an awesome thing or whatever you heard about it. But uh, for example, right, that's the normal situation where you felt like you just had to, right? And and uh, and similar with Kyoto Animation, right? That uh, similar to Kevin Condor, right? They they produce some of my uh, uh, my favorite animes, right? Yeah. So my favorite animes, uh, which uh, so that was, but that was that was really horrible. I mean that was horrible. But that was like a whole national horror, national uh, um, <laughs> derailing video now. No, but but if we haven't if, if you haven't heard about it, uh, you should definitely check it out. Uh, it, it's not a pleasant story, of course, to read about. But yeah, the Kyoto animation. If you never heard about it, it's very very uh, gruesome. But also it's like good to know about because it's like one of the worst crime ever in Japan history like in the last like 40 years right it was like since the 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 gas thing in the was that 93 right before yeah with the sun with the sun cult right yeah so, uh, so the, it was like the worst you know uh, crime basically in Japan right for like the last 20 years so it was crazy that way but also because I read about it right it was really horrible and I don't know, really too much but can't go on here but I said last thing here the Kyoto animation was really, it's a good read because, I mean, the person was really, really evil, right? But it, but it's kind of like, if you read about it, you understand how he did it too. Yeah, like how he, like he, he destroyed like the fire, so on. So he destroyed like the exits and so on. So it was really, really like maliciously planned to, right? So it's like, interesting to read if you want to learn how, maybe how to build a better house or whatever. So because, you know, if you think about stuff in a very morbid way. But um, here, Kevin Conner, of course. Um, Sorry, dying from cancer is uh, it's also a tragedy, and but I don't know. I brought the Kyoto animation because it, it reminds me of that. I mean, they're, they're kind of different, right? But it reminds me of uh, you know, like losing uh, these people you really think about has created some of these like really, really like oh my god, this is one of my absolute favorite, uh, you know, creative uh, whatever, right? Like oh my god, this person here made this thing, and this is very important to me, right? The, what they created, right? Like I mentioned in the order course, uh, Kevin Conner is Batman, right? And he, he, he's the person that really, like, you know, created uh, the, the, the greatest Batman series, right? And arguably the greatest, uh, you know, Western comic cartoon, whatever you call it, right? Ever. So it's, uh, uh, you know, he's the main character, yeah. He's the, um, he's the Batman, right? If he's, he's really weird in essence. So, um, yeah, he, he definitely reminds me of the. Uh, yeah, when that happened too, right? When that happened too, yeah. Uh, de- definitely, definitely. Uh, so the... Mm. Okay, whatever, whatever. I can't, can't sit here all day. Can't sit here all day. Um, something else, right? Um, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, you know, take care. Uh, you know, take care. Have a good day, I guess, right? Uh, but seriously though, right? seriously, I think I think it's important, this, this happened to my relative uh, last month, right, um, that uh, to understand that some cancer, I mean, you, you know, whatever, do do, do checkups, do the checkups, right, you know, go to the doctor and see if you have cancer and so on, right, but also I think it's, I think it's good to actually know that, uh, you know, this cancer, uh, like pancreas cancer, then you can die much faster, this cancer, you can live for a few years, I think it's important to also, uh, learn about that too right because like i said when my relative had the cancer uh, the person called me the next day and i was like i got cancer right and i was like oh yeah of course it's a bad news and i was like oh shit you got cancer and then i was but in my head i was imagining this uh you know my, my family member you know surviving right for at least a few months maybe even a year or whatever maybe even more years right i didn't imagine they were gonna call me on uh, on a wednesday or a wednesday and then basically die the next Wednesday, you know what I mean? I, I didn't imagine they're gonna be like, like that, right? You know, like, yeah, it, it was very weird. So, that that's just something I wanna point out there too, right? It's with cancer, right? That you, uh, because I was kinda, yeah, I mean, obviously I knew there's some cancers for the, like I said, some cancers are different speed, or whatever, right? Some different, depending on where you get them, right? So, it's, so, so, but that was, that was very sudden. But also, as I mentioned earlier, it was so weird because I talked to my relative every day, right? And, uh, and I was gonna go back then to my home country and my home city and so on, right? And, and they sounded fine, basically. Like, every day, 
after the first two days, they sounded fine, like they were, you know, all ginky, all happy, with all like, kind of that, right? Up and running, basically, right? Uh, after the first two days, so, so yeah, I'm gonna home again. Um, so they were like, oh, you know, I'm fine now, yeah, that's, that's great, I can, I, I, can, I can survive for 10 years, right? It, it was like that, and then, pff, yeah, and then immediately they just suddenly died. It was very, very weird. It was very weird. Um, so, um, uh, but yeah, I was at the funeral for that uh, three weeks ago, right? Yeah, three, 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 three four weeks ago, yeah. Um, but, um, but anyway, yeah, well, anyway, that's, that's the video. But, but seriously, yeah, it's important, I think, to do the cancer health check, right? And um, learn that there could be some uh, messages here from this uh, tragedy. Uh, so, may, can we call the rest in peace? And see you guys in heaven. Have a great day.